Hey guys, Andy Hake here with InsaWise in Pittsburgh. And today we're gonna to show you how to upgrade an old, leaky, inefficient duct system that we found here in an attic for one of the homeowners that we're working with. And we're gonna show you why this is such a uh, poorly designed and functioning system. So right now the furnace is on and I'm just gonna put some smoke out here. And you can see that the hot air is blowing directly out. So they used a zip tie to seal the flex hose to the collar, but what they didn't do is seal the collar to the actual trunk line very well. We'll show you that in just a minute. Now, if you wanna talk about thermal loss, this is an infrared camera. You can see over here, not too uh, bright. And when you bring it down, that's what thermal loss in an attic looks like. I'd be shocked if this homeowner ever had snow on his roof. And let me show you next exactly why this is functioning like that. Again, the flex hose is attached tight to the collar, but the collar itself, you can see the black streaks in the fiberglass from dust getting trapped in this stuff over the years. The collar actually will pop right off. This is how it was installed, okay? Just these little tabs were bent back, the stuff's blowing around. Normally I've got a respirator on, but it'd be too hard to hear me if I had it right now. Um, so this was never mechanically attached with screws and we're gonna change out all of the collars on this system with new airtight sticky collars. They get screwed in, the back sides from seal, and we're gonna put in new R8 insulated uh, flex lines, run those into the register boots, tie everything up, get it nice and tight and sealed, and we'll see how it looks after everything comes together. There is a cable tie, flex tie on here, and that's good. Boy, this flex hose is never coming off. But you know what will come off? Oh, the collar. Because the dude that put this on used these stupid tabs and uh, there's no mechanical attachment point. If you can see how bad the leakage has been over time from all the blackness in the fiberglass, uh, that's from dust in the air getting trapped there as your conditioned air from the home runs by. So we're gonna change out that old crappy takeoff with what's called an airtight sticky takeoff, okay? This has adhesive on the back side of this, peel it off. It's gonna go right up against that sheet metal. I wanna pull this insulation back, put it on. Boom. Now you can pull back a little bit more insulation if you want to, but that thing is already on there pretty good, but you don't leave it at that. There are holes in the side of that takeoff for screws. And that's what we really like. We wanna have these things be mechanically attached using sheet metal screws. Boom, right through into the sheet metal trunk line. That is a secure attachment. There's four holes. These four holes are gonna get four screws. Okay, that seemed a little bit better to you. That thing is on there tight, there's sealant around it. I'm pulling back and tearing this duct wrap now. We're actually gonna encaps, we're gonna remove this stuff later and encapsulate this trunk line with spray foam. But if you have to do this in the house and all you're changing out is the uh, insulated flex hose, tear the stuff out of the way, do the work that you need to, and then you can just kinda push the stuff back around it. Now, when it comes to attaching your flex hose, you can't have it be loosey-goosey like this because the inside of this flex hose is kind of like an accordion and the more ridges are in there, the more friction is going to be there when the airflow is moving through. It's going to make your airflow delivery uh, less efficient. It can cut down comfort, less energy efficient. You want to have that inner sleeve be taut and as smooth as possible so that the air flows freely over it. So we're going to Pull this up here a little bit. 
Let me see if I can find my knife, which I've lost eight times already today. Pulling it past this mark. That's gonna do it for us. Just making a little bit of a gouge in this outer insulated mylar layer. You could use shears or scissors or something to cut that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use my hands to open up this inner fiberglass layer. The newer fiberglass is not that itchy. It's not as bad as it was. Okay, now I've got to cut this inner layer. Cut this right here. And as you can see, I've got a metal cable. You're going to need to use something to cut that. You can use wire snips, but you might ruin them. Tool of choice is linesman shears. They're just a little bit tougher. There we go. Now I'm gonna get the unused portion out of the way. So again, the name of the game here, pulling this thing up so that it's, the inner sleeve is nice and taut. You can kind of see there's not a lot of slack here. I was able to pull that pretty far, pretty much the whole way up over top of that collar. I'm going to leave a little sheet metal there, so I'm going to go over it with some 181 tape. Yeah, that's nice and snug. Use my tightener again. Don't do this move by hand. You won't get it tight enough, trust me. Use mechanical leverage. Tight. Now, I'm tugging on this pretty good. The collar's not coming off. It's sealed with uh, adhesive and four screws. This is on with a zip tie, but we're gonna say that this still isn't good enough. We're gonna give it a couple of wraps. A 181 tape. Now, pull this stuff back a little bit more. We're big fans of doing things once and right. And I'm sure somebody in the comment section will say, you got it all wrong. You never want to do it that way. But again, the goal for the duct system to be tight, and for it to be permanently attached so that it could not easily be dislodged. If somebody came up here and accidentally kicked it if a plumber or electrician found themselves in the space. Okay, one more wrap here. Some guys use this 181 tape to go over the outer sleeve. I know that that's a common practice. Uh, I don't like that practice as much as going over the outer sleeve with another zip tie. I just think that the zip tie is stronger. Again, spend the extra five cents, however much these things cost. Get it on here super tight. Okay, this is tight, taut, it's strong, it's not coming off. We're gonna smoke test these things and infrared them after we get the whole duct system here uh, encapsulated with spray foam. We're gonna show you that process next, but if this is all that you need to do, this is a very good way to do this. You can 
bring the duct insulation back in around it and you can either wrap in additional fiberglass if you want to. You could even go around this with some foam. Some people might not think that's acceptable, but all we're trying to do is insulate, right? So, uh, and it's not gonna be on the inside of it, so I don't see what the difference would be. But this will do it for this step right here. The sticky takeoffs that are screwed in, they're mechanically attached and they're sealed. We got the new zip ties on, everything is sealed tight. We're gonna test it again, the furnace is now on. So before, when I smoked this, the smoke was blowing out in every direction. Now you can see the smoke just kind of hangs right there. That's what we want, okay? There's no leakage happening in this area. Now, if you found the video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you live in the Pittsburgh area or like Insulwise to come out and help make your home more energy efficient and comfortable, look us up or give us a call at this number. Thank you for your time.